Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy True back again for another video with a very special guest. Let him introduce himself. What's going on world? It's Mr. Lionel Smell Good. That's it. That is the man himself. Uh, I was trying to make sure that whenever I left, I put on my high quality fragrance because if you're going to be standing next to this man, you got to make sure you come with it. You got to make sure you come with it. But not only is it that time again for another video, it is the end of the year. It's the holiday season and we're about to count down our top five sneakers of 2021. So, are you guys ready? I'm ready. I mean, I know you guys are ready. Are you ready? I've been ready. So, uh, yes, we'll jump straight into it. Of course, before we get into the official list of the top five sneakers, I got a couple of other categories that we'll start with, starting with biggest disappointment. So, um, biggest disappointment, I guess, is just a shoe that you were disappointed in as far as just the physical appearance of look and releasing it. Um, that's not necessarily something that you uh, wanted, but when you saw it, you were just like, come on, man. You know, like that ESPN, uh, a little special that they have with the come on man. Come on man. <laughs> exactly. So uh, I'll start it off with mine. Uh, for me, it was a Jordan 13 Starfish. Uh, I, I could, if they made it for just kids, it'll be okay. But for adults, um, I just felt like the 13, they were doing too much with it with the color. And I tried to look it up as far as what is it? Is it orange or is it like a, a dark orange or whatever? But it just says Starfish. So I don't know. Yeah, I never understood like how orange can be a starfish color. Maybe but, the, you know, teachers on the eighty-two crayon box might have starfish in there, but yeah, it might have something to do with that thing. All right, so yeah, but that was the biggest disappointment for me. Um, Thirteen to me is a classic shoe, and I just feel like um, for a lot of the colors, they're not doing like you say, sticking to retro colors. Yeah, I think helps a lot, but these other colors, that shoe to me just doesn't have that physical appeal to just slap any color on it. You gotta kind of be real precise and strategic whenever it comes down to that shoe. So well, definitely. I definitely think 13s need to stick with the original colorways. Because I mean, trying to do the I call them imaginary colors. I don't even know. <laughs> That's just what I call them. But right. stick it with certain styles of shoes you have to stick to certain colors because if not it kind of just throws the effect of do I want that shoe? Right. Probably production gets pretty much wasted. It's just sitting on the shelf at the yeah. time. Wait till it goes on sale. Yeah. And that's when people actually gonna buy it because it's on sale. <laughs> it's right. like a good sale nowadays. <laughs> you know, so but sticking to those original colors uh, helps kind of sell the shoe a right. little bit more for those younger generations that's coming up now versus the older generation. Everything is something that's gonna change about the shoe right. uh, when coming up anyway. But the younger generation gets a chance to purchase that shoe as if they were back in the day buying it for the first time. Yeah. You know. Great thing. So uh, my biggest disappointment was the Adidas, the Yeezy boot, the khaki one, the NSTLD. It was um, <laughs> the space looking boot. That yeah, space man. Yeah. I I'm I'm very, I'm just like blown. Like I understand futuristic. Believe me, look, I'm I'm here for it. Here right. for the future. But it's just I wouldn't even know how you would wear that shoe. Like <laughs> for one, we in Louisiana. It don't get cold enough out here to wear that shoe. Like Tim, it's, right. it's just not where. It just wasn't a shoe that I was just like, man, I got hat, especially for three hundred four dollars. I'm sorry. I never knew the price. That's that's three. That's retail. That's not that's resale. Cool. Man, like it's I, that's just a shoe, and I think they came out with another uh, some another version of it, like a yeah. sock fit, uh, low top sock fit. Right. Too, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just wasn't a good looking shoe. Uh, it's bulky, too bulky for me. I am not a big fan of bulky shoes, and. It goes all the way up pretty much to like your, I think, all, a little bit past your calf, but not all the way up your calf, most of all. It's almost more, it's almost more like a high heel thigh. High <laughs> pretty much. Well, that, uh, that's definitely uh, crazy. Um, you know, a lot of people love everything Easy does. So for you to, you know, speak out against that, uh, hopefully the that Easy. Say, I, love, I still love Easy. <laughs> I do love Easy. It's just that particular shoe in general. That's it. Gotcha, gotcha. So next on the list is the retro shoe of the year, uh, a shoe that's been retro, that has uh, not had many, if not any, modifications to it. Uh, with that being said, for me, it was the LeBron 8 South Beaches. Um, I've been wanting those forever, and I'm actually renting them at the moment, so if you want to know more about that, uh, you know, I should have a link somewhere that can point you to renting shoes and the whole little process of going through with that but uh that shoe just looks great to me it looks amazing and it's real comfortable um i love south beach colors the original mktp um 
flyer. Like the original MKTP logo was designed by that, behind that shoe. So I don't know if a lot of people know that documentary comes soon. We'll break down more of that. Um, but yeah, so that was it for me. LeBron in Southeast, a lot of history, uh, personal feelings for me when it comes to that shit. Okay, mine, uh, I guess they, they, they retroed it, but they did, I know you said something about a few, they did a few modifications right. to it. So mine would be the Off-White Jordan 2 Lows. Uh, uh, okay. A lot of people wasn't a fan of Jordan 2, believe it or not. Right. You know, they were sticking to the 1s, the 3s, the 5s, the normal stuff you see, but those 2s don't come out often. Right. And when they do drop in those specific, like I said, that's one of those shoes that has to have a specific colorway. Right. Uh, and they kept the original colorway. And the way they went about doing it, they took a mold, they went to their vault for this one. They took the original shoe, from my understanding, they took the original sole of the shoe, how it was cracked and vintage looking. Right. Everything about it, and they made and they created a mold to create that bottom so that, ah, that, that translucent type right. of bottom. I thought that was like hella cool to yeah. do something that like created my thought to say, I'm going to the vault and recreate this shoe using an original Jordan 2, taking the creases, the cracks, everything about it and still be able to make it into a brand new sneaker right. and re-release it. And then, you know, the guy with Off-White as a collab yeah. uh, deal. I thought that was just the dopest shoe to me that they brought out. Then it was a two, uh, it was a low. Right. You know, I was a big fan of the logos. I, I had a couple pairs, then I sold them, uh, which was stupid. <laughs> but uh, that was my shoe, my retro shoe of the year. That's a good choice. It's a really good choice. Um, definitely didn't see that coming. Um, yeah, that's a hot shoe. Uh, looking back on it, uh, the high rest in peace. Uh, Virgil, definitely yes. a great designer. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's definitely a good one. Um, all right, so we're about to get close to the top five. So this is that honorable mention, the one that didn't quite make the top five list if there was a number six, this will probably be that. Uh, for me, um, this is gonna be shocking. Shout out to Tim. Uh, he always talks about these shoes and um, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but for me, uh, it's kind of a tie between the New Balance 922 Made in USA, blue and silver metallic, and the New Balance 550 UNC White University Blue. Uh, not sure that I like them enough to purchase them to own for myself, but seeing them, it it pushed me towards the inkling of maybe New Balances aren't that bad. I'm not a big New Balance fan uh, when I see people in New Balances. Um, <laughs> you know, but I, <laughs> but I mean, you know, I mean, uh, yeah. my homeboy Tim loves them. He talks about them all the time. He purchases a lot of New Balances. New Balances are respected in this new game. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is, but for me, New Balance just doesn't move the needle, but those two uh, definitely made me do a double take, so. And that was your, uh, that was your honorable uh, mention, honorable you mention. know. You know, I can agree with you. I, I'm not gonna lie, I have a pair of the 550s. It wasn't oh, you one, do have some? Yeah, I actually ended up purchasing them from Foot Action. Okay. Uh, and they're actually comfortable. So they are, man. <laughs> I was, I was, now nah, I'm always been, I always loved New Balance. I always like the originals of the New Balances, but when they put them in the right. sneaker form, it looks so hard, so it's such a flat sole. Yeah, too. yeah. You think it's uncomfortable, but right. man, it, it's a comfortable shoe. I, I was, I was shocked, and I actually liked some of the other colorways that were coming out, right. like the UNC colorway, the yellow, the orange. Right. Uh, but that shoe was, it's comfortable. I didn't think it was gonna be that comfortable as it was. That's and but I should have, because I mean, New Balance have always been comfortable from the jump. But just with that flat, hard kind of look, look outside looking sole. Yeah. The insides made. Feels great. Uh, Actually, enjoy it. Uh, speaking of New Balance, my honorable mention uh, will be the uh, Peace by Journey uh, New Balance 200, the 2002R. Uh, I think it's by, uh, I'm probably gonna murder people. <laughs> Sahali B. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm not good with names. Right. I was trying to Google. Uh, the names of the sneakers, but they have nobody pronouncing them because I have some sneakers on my list that I know will mess up the name. So yeah, yeah, yeah. just do the best you can. Yeah, Siri wasn't no no better. <laughs> I mean, but I I love that shoe. It was, I guess the concept. I'm big on concept and materials on shoes. Oh, okay. uh, that shoe came out and couldn't get a pair because you know once once it hits the internet, it's over. Pretty yeah, much. that's it. Uh, but it was just one of those shoes that caught my eyes very. Very kind of bright color, like it's that orange pair. Um, it was orange with kind of like, kind of cut like the right. same kind of way. 
this kind of uh, rough suede material on right. it. Uh, and it was just a dope shoe to have because it kept with the old, kind of somewhat the original style of the New Balances that the old dads would wear. Yeah, they yeah, kind of yeah. revamped it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so I thought that was definitely a cool, cool looking shoe when it came out. That's what's up, man. It definitely was up. Um, New Balances are, are, are shifting and moving the culture in the sneaker game. So big time. I'm um, they really are reselling though, that's crazy. Like, they reselling high. That yes. shit I just spoke about, that shit was going for like $900. For resale? Alright. I didn't ever think that I said, I knew about it. New balances? Alright, look it up if you want. I promise you. Yeah, you're gonna have to check that out, obviously. Yeah, well, a lot of what it said is probably posted on the video right now, so their resale price, you probably see if they sell. Um, but that's it, man. That, that is it. So we are here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what your honorable mentions? I had a couple. Oh, you had a couple? That was, that was all I had. You have another one you want to throw in there? Yeah, man. Uh, Go ahead. Another one was the Air Force One, the Five on it. Okay. okay. What they got into the cost, uh, they collabed with Undefeated. Yeah, yeah. It was a great pair. Right. They call it the five on it because uh, the five different type of materials on there, then they got the five stripes and the logo for undefeated. Right. Uh, that was just a dope, like I said, dope concept. Right. Clean looking shoe. Uh, another honor I mentioned was uh, a Lady May. I didn't think I did prime, so I was correct. Uh, her Jordan 14 J is represented for the ladies. Uh, okay. Yeah. That she yeah. has came with a little history behind how right. she came about. With designing that shoe, uh, which is a dope little song with her, with her grandmother. And giving, I think she was, a matter of fact, she was at a Tiffany and Company show, mm -hmm. and she saw, I guess, she saw something with the J in right. there that they were selling as a jewelry piece, and she incorporated it into the Jordan 14s, uh, which I thought that was hella dope, uh, especially for the ladies. Shout out to them, right? Uh, shout out to her. Uh, and another one that I, I copped today, today, today. <laughs> Oh. And I, I'm gonna show the box. The box is nice. The box uh, is definitely cool. Uh, it's about with Puma. I kind of want to pair just that on just the box. Just because of the box. I mean, <laughs> you pay for the box, right? As it comes, but it's the mellow. Those are nice. Yeah. I guess I guess the mellow ones. I guess you're coming. It's a one of one, as it says on the tongue. Uh, but the mellow shoe. Uh, when I saw the wedding shoe, I was like, man, I got to see this actually in person. It's a very speaks loud for itself as it is. I don't care what you put on, but when he stepped on the court with him, I was like, yeah, man, gotta have him. Got the right. rag on the bottom, the translucent bottom, clear, like clear orange, or uh, salmon-like color. Yeah. Uh, got the wings on it. Man, it's, it says, not from here, so I can definitely believe the kid is not from here the way he bought his house. <laughs> uh, but this is one of my honorable wishes as well, man. I definitely love this. I did it. Let you know you might if you don't like yours too snug, you will go have to go up a half size. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I have to go to a ten and a half instead of a ten. It's good tips, uh, good tips. Just letting y'all know, but it's one of my honor missions that I did have. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Nice box, nice. Nice. I actually like that. Shout out to Poom. <laughs> <laughs> so so we so you done honorable mentions? Done, done without my honorable mentions. Okay, so after Lonnie's top five honorable mentions, we are now getting to the top five sneakers of 2021. Uh, this is it, uh, our personal list of top five sneakers of the year. So starting with number five, you want me to go first? And I think going first. Yes, sir. Right, yeah. So mine, I actually do have Nike SB Dunk Low uh, Para Abstract. I think it's Para. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, like I said, I, love, I like the stained glass. So obviously being a big Dunk fan, um, I like how the bulging of the Nike check, I like the little, you know, the small detail of the Nike check, but I love the material and the look. You usually see this in a lot of designs and um, I see it in like a lot of videos and stuff of just people and they're kind of flipping and turning and stuff like that. And it reminds me of the stained glass at the church. Uh, I haven't got a chance to wear it. Of course, Gum Bottom always looks good on just about anything. So yeah. Uh, these are number five for me. A lot of people, Dunk had a huge wave. I'm not a big regular Dunk fan. I'm a, more of an SB Dunk fan. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, you know, the wave with Dunk is. Yeah, one to Yeah, yeah, one yeah. is Raffle and Ruckers. I'm regular, I'm regular like all y'all. I do raffles and hope I get lucky. So, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't lucky. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, this is number five for me. That's nice. I did like that one, man. I wish I could have got my hands 
Um, when they drop, it was like a couple of them they dropped throughout the years. So yeah. When they yeah. drop, man, never can get my hands on them, but shout out to the people that do get their hands on them. Uh, okay. So my number five is, I kind of had two. It's kind of hard to do. <laughs> uh, so both of mine are SBs. One was the uh, the Mummy SB Dunk Lows. Yeah. And I actually have the other one. Okay. <laughs> All of like the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Nike SBs, they're coming out with these kind of new boxes. New boxes, yeah. those are new boxes, yes. At least I try to have at least one box for every year that you take. But, uh, oh, you got those? <laughs> Shout out to the sneak app for once helping me out. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah man, this is for the city, man. Uh, SB Dunk, man. They were. I didn't think I was going to get them. I just kind of closed the app and opened it and then just so happened, oh, you got them. What? It's always a great feeling. So, you. It's the greatest feeling in the world. So, the reason I had these two is because uh, the money. I kind of, after, after thinking about it so long, I think I like this one better. But those were my two. The Mummy SBs, uh, you know, if you've seen them, they all came with the uh, the Mummy Effect material, how it was ripped, how it torn a little bit, give you that Mummy feel. Uh, and it was like on the back, the eyes had the kind of eyes showing in the back as if they're looking at you. And then the shoes actually glow, the glow wasn't at the bottom and on the back where the eyes were. I thought that was dope. Uh, and plus, I'm kind of a fan of Halloween. You know, not the actual Halloween, but just the dressing up and the funness of it. And then it takes part with the, you know, seeing oh, everybody yeah. in their costumes, if you know what I mean. Uh, then there were these. Uh, I actually looked up kind of the history kind of behind these and what they came out with. Uh, uh, but it was based off, kind of, kind of read this because I can't remember what they were saying. Uh, it was based off like the public bathroom, the public bathhouses in Japan, in Japan that were back like hundreds of years ago, mm -hmm. and it remained integral in community spaces where people of all walks of life to go recharge, refresh, and escape from the daily grind. Their words, quote them. Uh, so, what I did like about this shoe, they actually used the bath tiles, it's like bathroom tiles on this shoe, which I thought was real dope, even with the feel of it. Uh, definitely got on the upper tongue, uh, the upper part of the shoe here. Got the blue kind of suede new book. Uh, you got the sole inside. Then you got the translucent bottom with the clear icy, icy blue body. You can never beat that. No. Uh, but I actually just, like I said, I love the concept of this shoe, which will make me even appreciate it more. You know, a lot of people get sneakers and don't really appreciate them. So this is my appreciation for this sneaker I changed it. Definitely haven't worn it yet, as you can tell. I'm like true. I haven't worn my sneakers yet. But eventually I will. Yeah. When I get the courage to really want to mess up my body. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Uh, both have SBs number five. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. SB is still going strong in the sneaker game. Uh, number four, uh, for me, is a shoe that I actually don't own, but um, I was very impressed with how they put a spin on a classic and made it pop, which was the Air Max One Paddle Waves. Uh, they ended up coming out with a lot of different colors and stuff like that, but uh, that shoe to me uh, was definitely real dope whenever I saw it. Uh, it was it was something, the Waves to me was a very big change, but small subtle change in the shoe. Mm -hmm. That really changed the whole dynamic of it, so I thought that was really, really dope the way they did that. And uh, yeah, definitely to me the fourth top sneaker release of the year, you know, for me. Okay, okay. Well, my number four was the ready-made Nike Blazer Mid. Uh, mm -hmm. They released in February. Yeah. They had yeah. two different colors. Uh, Started of the year, yeah. So, but I liked it, the black pair with the orange swoosh. Uh, the concept by the time that, the guy uh, was, uh, Utah. I know, I got that part right. The can't pronounce the last name, starts with H. Uh, but, the shoe was actually made out of recycled material, uh, recycled materials from old military fabrics. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so how he put it together, uh, he used like old. He took the boxes actually from a dumpster. Like the design is kind of based off a dumpster. Right. If you look at the graphics on it, uh, yeah. even the paper inside has got trash. That, like trash is kind of printed on the paper, and the shoe itself, the tongue was made from the couch material, from like an old couch sitting outside. Dope. Which I thought was pretty dope how yeah. they put this shoe together, man. There's so many great people in this world that are doing a lot, man. And you got to show the appreciation for those type of people. So that was my number four. 
All right, that's dope. That's definitely what's up, man. Uh, blazers are uh, a classic staple. Shout oh. out to Tony T who has blazer tattooed, a sneaker blazer tattooed on his arm. He does. He does. So uh, we're down to number three, top three. Uh, I actually own my number three, which was uh, these babies right here. Jordan 1 had the Royals when I first saw them. Uh, I was hyped. I liked the fact that they had the faded look. The, to me, it just reminds me of like a jean jacket type, jean type feel. Uh, of course, with the white and then the blue, the little deep blue, which was the extra laces, as you can see, uh, StockX. Uh, I don't plan on keeping this on there when I wear them. I just haven't worn the shoe yet, so I just haven't cut it off. <laughs> Check it out. People, if you get something like this, do not leave that on. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it does not, it's, not, it's not a part of the shit. Just take it off. Please. I see people walk around with it on the mom I'm like, bro, it's okay. We know you, you got some stock it. Cool. <laughs> take it off. Thank you for, for clarifying that. I've heard a lot of people say what Lonnie's saying and feel strongly about it. So, uh, yeah, this is it for me, man. The uh, Hyper Royal Jordan 1's uh, to me the number three shoe on my list of 2021. All right. My number three, a lot of people might be shy about what's the Travis Low uh, Fragment Lows. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. Actually, I, I kind of fell up. I was one of those shoes I didn't get. Obviously, man, you know. But that shoe, uh, that colorway one shoe and how they put it together was awesome. Uh, it came with the, the blue, the black, and then that kind of off white, kind of cream like color. That, right. That's what actually set the shoe off for me, was that cream color on there. Uh, very hyped up shoe. Everybody in the world was trying to get their hands on a pair on the computers. You got two or three computer phones. Uh, being on Travis website, uh, website trying to get them. It was just one of those shoes everybody wanted. Then you get online, you see about one guy got 30 pad, the other guy got 50. You're like, well, I see why I lost. Uh, but it was, that was definitely a shoe I wish I could have got my hands on. I don't know if I'm willing to pay that retail price just yet. Uh, yeah, retail price. They like sixteen. Ooh, yeah. Sixteen hundred. I, I just couldn't do it. So I couldn't do it, man. I got a got a, got a cap, got a limit cap. Right. That's what's up, man. That's definitely a shock for me. I didn't think that that would be on your list. Um, you know, like you said, after people couldn't get them, I kind of forgot about them and moved on <laughs> forward. So, uh, but that's gonna be down to number two. Uh, kind of like you. My list was kind of compiled today, literally hours before this video, I made some changes to it or finalized it. So number two for me would be the Jordan 3 A Ma Marini. I don't know how, like I say, uh, you know, you're looking at the visual of it at the moment, but yeah, Jordan 3 A Ma Marini. When I saw them, I thought they were nice, dope, a nice earth tone. So the older, you know, you kind of like those earth tone colors, the simple plain stuff that you can wear with everything, the browns with the Nike Air on the back. I uh, definitely shot my shot a lot with those and I was a Steph Curry, so I didn't get them, but uh, I thought those was really dope, really nice shoe. Um, definitely made a lot of people's list, so for me, that's number two. That's a good one. I, I actually like that one, too. I like, I'm like liking those earth tones, something simple right. that you can wear, just if you want to step out. And that's something I, I feel like a three or something you can dress up and dress down, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. Uh, so my number two is uh, the off-white Nike Air Force One, the lemonade, the yellow stuff. The yellow oh, man. Man. Mm -hmm. uh, rest piece the version, you yeah. know. Uh, especially going back to the, that original sneaker, the Air Force One. Yeah. We used to get them in high school. And right. You had the all white and all black. So yeah, all that was it. And it, it was seasonal. No, it was seasonal. It, it wasn't no talking about black. Man, you can't find that shoe in these stores, no. All white, G Night, all uh, the black ones. So that shoe uh, stood out to me because it's, it stands out on its own. You can pretty much wear it with anything and it fits. That yellow is just so bright, like the canary yellow. Uh, and you know, with it being collab with Off White, it even popped even more. It made even more a buzz to it. Uh, but that was my number two that I wish I could have got. It dropped in July. But uh, nah, didn't get my hands on. Took another L on that one. <laughs> Again, like I gotta remind y'all, we are regular like y'all. We do raffles, we do all that stuff. Still working on trying to get connected. We want to be at Connect. Holla at us, hit us up. Yeah. Um, so we down to number one, uh, number one sneaker for me of 2021. Uh, this probably might not come as no big surprise, but it was a Jordan One Trophy Room. Um, I definitely like those a lot. Um, I like the uh, the embedment of the Chicago color and just a little twist to it. I like the one with the blue laces. I know those were more rare. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of controversy behind that shoe because a lot of people had them ahead of time if it was real or not. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's tough. 
because a lot of people have, they said there's so many floating out, authentic and not authentic, and it's hard to tell the difference that there's a chance that you might go to a reputable site to buy some and get some fakes. I don't know, you know, how true that is, but you know, there's just a lot of speculation around that shoe. But for me, that shoe was real nice. I tried every raffle, everything I could to get a pair. Um, resale is ridiculously high at the moment. Um, so yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I usually put aside a little bit, and if it if I stop buying shoes enough to where what I put aside in my sneaker account reaches that amount, then I'll probably get a pair. You know, no lie. So uh, I know a lot of people have caps on what they spend on sneakers. For me, if I'm gonna buy more than one pair, no matter what, if I'm gonna spend five hundred dollars on two pair, then I might as well just put that together and spend it on one pair. No matter what, it's gonna get. Purchase towards sneakers, so I might get them one day. But trophy room Jordan ones, uh, number one to me on the list. I also forgot about that shoe. So we they dropped so many shoes. They, the end, they did. I, I couldn't even remember. I could even, when I come up with this list, I had to go back and just like scroll, scroll. I was like, man, what shoes do have? And some of the stuff I'm here and I still didn't catch on the list. <laughs> so uh, my number one was actually I think your number. Four. It's my number four. Oh, okay. No, yeah. no, it was four. Yeah. That's, yeah, you know, that's four. the number. So, actually, half mine. You have? To my commitment. I'm excited because I've never seen these shoes in person, so let's pull them out. Well, I have, I got two number ones on the same shoe. Let's say that. Hey, that's just the fact that you're able to rake it on in, you know. Let's move this out the way. <laughs> so, Mine was the pattern. Oh, well, that ain't already came in a nice little box that has the. Yeah, man. I'm big on the boxes, the material. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, okay. I just was trying to see you know, better. I don't know which one is which. Right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, these, these are nice. Now I see them in person. They might I'm a big cool. Air Max 1 fan. Right. Always have been. And pattern has always dropped. A very unique style of shoe. Uh, I learned that they are actually a, a Dutch in Amsterdam. It's a they are a Dutch brand in Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, which I thought was pretty cool. And Air Max is so big out there, like like very big uh, in Amsterdam. And then it comes with it, you know. I like the paper. I mean, you see it's got the. Oh, okay. representing on yeah. them. You know, I thought that was real, a dope concept. Thank you. He's a real good person. I mean, I, oh, I yeah. Like Came with the different color shoe strings, okay. and then you know they came with the actual tags in the little right. bag. Uh, so they, they, they put it together pretty well, man. Uh, all around, it's comfortable. It's all Air Maxes are. Uh, with a soft suede, a soft move look on it, on the upper, mm -hmm. and uh, mid midsole. Man, it's, it's just one of those shoes. If if I didn't have that, I would, I would kind of probably lost my mind because I took L's on everything else. So I actually did pay a little bit extra for the get these. Uh, shout out to my man for helping me out on that. Uh, but I was able, when I saw the blue pair, I said, oh, get the blue pair too, man, bro. Whenever they come out, let me know, you know. And he was able to help me out get both pairs. Uh, but I was satisfied with my purchase was spending. Like I said, I got a cap. I'm like, true, I put a little bit of money to the side to make sure if I want this shoe, I'm gonna spend X amount to get this shoe. Right. Uh, but it's definitely well worth it in both in, in me having both the aquas and the monarchs uh, Like I said, I'm good with those earth tones. I love the actual kind of cream off like vintage look of it That's why I think why I fell in love with it aside from the orange and the Alex one But the actual vintage of the uh, actual midsole on it And then you got the upper sneaker where it's like got the you got your normal mesh and then it goes into that new look kind of suede on his Nike check and in the mid up the sole of the shoe, and then you got the orange stitching in the back. Uh, got the pad on the tongue, and like I said, it's, it's just an all around clean shoe that you could either easily dress up, dress down uh, for any occasion that you, you get ready for, man. And I was I was excited, man. I think I, I think I might slip in one of them. I forgot which one it was. I think I just had them on the bed. I had I had to, didn't put the covers on because I still wanted to put them breathe. So I just let my feet hang off the side of the bed, and you know, just kind of slept with them that day. Uh, we just made a date out of it. We watched a couple movies and stuff like that. We enjoyed ourselves. <laughs> uh, that's definitely what's up, man. I mean, these look real good in person. Uh, definitely feeling and loving them. But uh, that's it, everybody. That is our uh, top five list sneakers for 2021. Anything you're looking forward to 
next year? A sneaker that you've seen that you kind of like, you know what I think most? Uh, so I was on the sneaker app. You know, you, you got to be involved with the sneaker app and all that right. stuff. And sometimes that's true, sometimes not. So they did a live with uh, Michael Conley from that plays in the NBA. Right. Uh, they were showing just that some of the shoes that are going to be dropped, some of the Jordans are going to be dropping. Uh, I saw the car. They had some Cardinal threes. Yes, it's yes. like the original. It's always based off the original right. fire. I Everyone think the fire reds are dropping again this year. If I, next year, if right. I think I saw something about that. Uh, so the Cardinal threes are something I'm kind of excited about. Uh, they had some Jordan sixes uh, that was on there, but I wasn't too hot on them. Uh, I think it was a women's shoe though. Mm, yeah. So they do. That looks like they're coming out with a few women Jordan right. sneakers out next year too as well. Uh, but I think the corner threes, the only thing I can think of off top, those might be the ones I'm thinking about. Uh, I know they pushed back the pack leather ones. I don't know if they're going to come out on the 30th or not. We shall see. Uh, but they all come in family size run though, so that's a good deal. Nice. Uh, I don't think there's nothing else I can think of that's coming out next year that I have. I wish they were dropping Cherry 12s. Uh, <laughs> y'all said that was coming out two years ago. That was supposed to be around my birthday. and. Uh, what happened? It's supposed to be January 9th, it didn't come out. So, uh, still waiting on those when those drop, if they choose to drop those. Right. Somebody get that to them, let them know that I said, like, <laughs> drop those Cherry 12s. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the only shit I can think of that's coming out that crosses my mind, at least. What about, what about you? Uh, for me, definitely the Playoff 12s, Black and White, I've been wanting those for a while. Um, I always forget about you. Definitely looking forward to those. And also the pennies, the original pennies are coming out. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm, I always wanted those, so I'm definitely getting a pair of those. So those two are, I know it sounds cliche, but the Jordans and the Pennies are two that I'm definitely uh, grabbing next year, so. Now that you said yet, mine's uh, also the playoff toys. <laughs> Got I, I remember having those, I remember my dad actually bought me those when I was, uh, I think I might have been in elementary school at the right. time. And he didn't know nothing about Jordan. He was like, man, you got these Jordans for you, bro. But, all right, cool, man. In the missing of that day. <laughs> when I was playing basketball, thinking I was Mike. That was all she wrote. They didn't even make it to school. <laughs> but uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's a good memory right. I had behind yeah. that shoe. You know, a lot of people, when they get shoes, older retro shoes, they re you know relate right. to a memory that they have with those shoes. And I can remember that stuff had my dad bought me uh, coming up. This is yeah, the time when Jordan was, they were selling, but they weren't selling out, you know. Right. You can go in the stores, get them off the shelf, and be like, I need this size. But yeah, that's a good memory I want to share about that shit. That's what's up, man. Definitely appreciate you as always. Uh, a lot more stuff coming from both of us yes. uh, real soon. But uh, y'all be blessed. Have a good one. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Comment, let us know what you think. Your top five. Uh, follow us, like, subscribe, share, share, all that stuff. We appreciate y'all, man. Most definitely, most definitely. Peace.